Welcome to our lesson number 9, photoresistor. Introduction. A photoresistor or photocell is a light-controlled variable resistor. The resistance of a photoresistor decreases with increasing incident light intensity. In other words, it exhibits photoconductivity. A photoresistor can be applied in light-sensitive detector circuits, unlike light and dark activated switching circuits. Components One Arduino Uno board, one USB data cable, one photoresistor, one resistor with 10 kilo ohms value, eight LEDs, eight resistor with 220 ohms value, jumper wires, and one breadboard. Experimental principle The resistance of the photoresistor changes with incident light intensity. If the incident light intensity is high, the resistance reduces. If low, increases. In this experiment, we will use 8 LEDs to indicate light intensity. The higher the light intensity is, the more LED is lit. When the light intensity is high enough, all the LEDs will be lit. When there is no light, all the LEDs will go out. Let's build the circuit. For experimental procedures, step 1, build the circuit. So this will be our representation for our circuit. So we have 8 LEDs, 8 resistors, 1 10 kilo ohm resistor and the photoresistor here and the jumper wires for the connection. This will be its schematic diagram. For step 2, let's program it. Step 3, compile the code and step 4, upload the sketch to Arduino Uno board. Now if you shine the photoresistor with a certain light intensity, you will see several LEDs will light up. If you increase the light intensity, you will see more LEDs light up. When you place it in a dark environment, all the LEDs will go out. So this will be a representation of what will be the actual connection of the LEDs, the resistors, and the connecting wires, as well as the photoresistor. What's up guys? Welcome to our lesson number 9, the photoresistor. Things that we need for this project is, of course, the photoresistor. We have here the LEDs. So we have 8 LEDs and then the 220 ohms resistors. The connecting wires here. The breadboard and the Arduino Uno. Now let's try to assemble our circuit. So first, let's try to attach the leds so again the longer side of these leds are the positive side and the other one the shorter one is the negative let's try to uh, make sure that the right the right side is the positive side and the left the left one is the negative so we will uh, try to arrange it on that way so we can remember it if, even if we build other circuit Now that we have attached all of these LEDs, let's try also to attach the photoresistor. So we, we actually call this one LDR or light dependent resistor. So let's attach it this way. Okay. Let's attach it this way. And then we'll connect the 220 ohms on the positive side of the LEDs. And let's make sure that we can jump it the other way also as you can see here I have to from this point on the right side I'll jump it here so we can we can connect so we can have connection from this side here and to this side okay so let's do it on the eight LEDs Let us also connect a resistor 
on our photoresistor just to limit uh, the connection I think it's safe that we put it this way now that we have attached the LEDs and the resistors it's time for us to connect a uh, common ground for these resistors so by saying that we need to connect a common ground let's attach a the ground from this Arduino to one of the sides here so let's just use the blue one so from um, the Arduino now let's use the black wires and white wire to attach the negative side of the LEDs to this side blue lines that we have settled for this ground of the LEDs okay let's do it and now let's connect a ground wire from this point of the resistor here it's line here and put this on the blue line so that's the ground and now let's try to connect all these LEDs to the pins of the Arduino so we have pins 5 to 12 um, for us to easily attach this one let's start from this LED 12 pin number 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 okay and the connection for this um, photoresistor will go to the pin A0 and now let's attach the wires so let's, let, let's use red wire so if, if you can see this one um, the straight line from the positive side straight with the resistor to the pin of the Arduino so for example let's line this here and then connect it to pin number 12 okay Let's connect this side, this side here to pin A0 of the Arduino. This is pin A0 here, A0 to A5. Pin A0 and the other side will be on pin number uh, 5 volts of the Arduino from here to the 5 volts of Arduino which will be which is located here so basically this is our setup for our photoresistor dia circuit diagram okay now let's try to uh, make it function make it work and now let's try how this um, diagram works first I will be turning off my lights here to see if we can uh, make any difference let's turn off first and the other one let's turn it off and I'm gonna turn off also the lights here I have minimal light here so let's use my cell phone's flashlight here my cell phone's flashlight since it's dark it doesn't light anything but when it's exposed to sunlight or to a light it will light up the um, the LEDs okay 
we can also do it the opposite way so now guys this is uh, a modified code that i uploaded to my arduino uno so whenever it senses um, a value less than 50 which means that um, it also detect the um, darkness let's just say this is the sun so when it's on a daylight it will not turn on but if it senses dark already you can try this one and it the leds will turn on so basically the concept of this one is that um, for example you have a light which is always turned on you make it automatic um, by making it turn on only if it's dark already using the photoresistor so that's one big one um, application of this project Thank you.